I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 19th of March. And you know what? Today's going to be a beautiful day. This is the day we have been waiting for, but the weather changes over the weekend. So let's get in there and talk about it. First off, the Skycam shots early this morning at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. That's the uh, Birmingham Skycam looking north from the Daniel Building. The sky crystal clear. Temperatures are down in the upper 30s in many spots, upper 30s and low 40s. Here's a look at the campus of Auburn University down in Lee County. The sky is clear there. And a quick peek at downtown Clanton down in Chilton County. Well, there you go. The uh, ridge is building nicely over us ahead of the storm out west. And that's going to mean a fantastic day today. Sunny and mild with low 70s. Here's a look at the numbers this morning. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 30s and low 40s here. And note the new cold air coming down uh, over the northern Rockies. And we'll feel that uh, Sunday and Monday. Those two days look pretty raw and cold. But today and tomorrow look nice and mild. Look at that. Look at all the winter storm watches out there for the middle of the nation. Uh, the mountains of Colorado will be slammed with snow. And snow is likely uh, down into parts of the Texas Panhandle and much of Oklahoma over the weekend. Maybe even a few snowflakes down to Dallas-Fort Worth. No big issue there, but uh, uh, it's going to be sharply colder in the wake of the front. Convective outlook. This is today. Low end probabilities, the 5% uh, range out there over parts of West Texas and Oklahoma that is underneath the slight risk. Tomorrow, the guys have really trimmed the risk back. They've got it mainly on the Gulf Coast, uh, southeast Louisiana, and extreme South Alabama and Mississippi. And I think that's right. Again, there is just zero surface-based instability up here. And that's just going to be the limiting factor. So I don't think we have a big issue. And on day three, which is Sunday, low end, 5% probabilities off to the east. And the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock, and this has us in about uh, one-half to three-quarters of an inch. And that sounds about right. Uh, and, of course, the, all of that will be coming uh, uh, during the day Sunday. We'll look at the OZGFS. This is at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars, ridging over us, new trough out west, down below a beautiful day. It will finally feel like spring. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be in good shape. There's your trough digging down into Texas. Down below that, we stay dry. Kind of a breezy and mild day with a mix of sun and clouds in mid-70s tomorrow. Have to turn on the air conditioner if you'll be outside tomorrow afternoon, probably. But look at the cold air coming in behind that front. And yeah, you can see potential for some snowflakes down into uh, North Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas, Missouri. Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, very strong shortwave. I mean, if we had instability, that would be an issue, but we just don't. Uh, there's the surface chart. The surface low is located uh, northeast of Little Rock with a trailing front. And then Sunday at noon, the uh, band of storms rotating through here. Uh, this run a little slower. Uh, confidence is high. This will be well past midnight uh, Sunday night and a daytime thing on Sunday, mainly Sunday morning. Uh, severe weather parameters. How about the EHI, the Energy Helicity Index? Uh, there is none. Significant tornado parameter, none. Surface-based instability, none. Of course, the only thing going for us is the uh, high helicity values, uh, which, you know, obviously will be the case with a system like that. That's the uh, zero to one kilometer helicity, but uh, these things will just not be rooted at the surface. So we'll watch. You always have to watch. You know, what do you do when it comes to thunderstorms? Expect the unexpected, but... Uh, it's just coming through at a time uh, where there's no instability and probably no issues. But let's watch them anyway. Uh, Monday, look at the upper low. Very deep the thing sitting over Chattanooga. And uh, down below that, that's going to be a pretty raw day. Very low thickness values because of the cold air aloft. Uh, that'll be cloudy and cool with a high only around 50. Uh, maybe some uh, drizzle. Maybe a snowflake or two up on the ridges up there in northeast Alabama. But that's not going to be your Chamber of Commerce day. Tuesday will be much nicer, though. That system is gone. Sunny and warmer will be in the low 60s. Wednesday looks good. Sunny with a high close to 70. Thursday of next week, there's the next trough over Texas. The flow goes out of the southwest. This run a little slower. It really holds off the rain until Thursday night. And then Friday of next week, a week from today, we go wet. Uh, so consistency in the whole idea next week is good toward rain at the end of next week. And again, probably no severe weather, just rain. And the following day, Saturday, the 27th, looks dry and mild if this works out. Let's go out there a few more days. The 1st of April, look at the trough coming through. 
Cold front socking us in there with a good chance of showers and storms. The end of the forecast, April 3rd, historically a day where crazy things can happen in weather here. Uh, Got the uh, trough ridge trough thing, and we're kind of in between there. And that looks relatively calm if this happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.